Any of the places that you might be thinking about as a getaway in Newfoundland, you usually have to travel for an hour or two hours from the Trans-Canada Highway to get there. Like I said, you're cheating to get here because you only have to drive 20 minutes off the highway and this is what you end up getting. Okay? The Eastport Peninsula is a little bit interesting because like this is a place that I feel like a lot of Newfoundlanders treat it kind of like a staycation hotspot. You have Terranova National Park, you have Splash and Putnam, right? Like the memories that I have as a child, the excitement in say like June, knowing that July was coming, we're probably going ahead to Terranova, but for me Terranova was Splash and Putt. It was a, a real point of excitement for, for me and my brother and for a lot of kids in my neighborhood, everybody talked about Splash and Putt. The water park for me, the water slide is the main part of it, but they, they have things like bumper boats and, and a few other small sort of park rides like that. They have a mini golf course that used to be super fun. If you are looking for like a major amusement park, Canada's Wonderland or like a Disney type of theme park, this is not that, right? And I'm not claiming that it is, I don't think anybody would. But for what it is, like the excitement that would build up in the summertime, leading up to whichever weekend we would go to Glovertown or Trade Town, knowing that we were going to this place, was the most exciting part of my summer. My center of the universe would be Splash and Putt. I don't remember ever heading up to South Age. South Age is an absolute treat. I mean, maybe it's, you know, because I'm an adult and I'm looking for different things when I'm doing like any kind of vacation thing. I'm just discovering new places around my home province, right? But I don't remember traveling there as a child. If we did, I just don't remember it. So I am by no means an expert and I'm definitely interested in learning more about it. But what I saw was like, wow, right? Like, I've been told by a few people, Peter S. from the comments, I know you mentioned it one time, but a lot of people talk about Salvage being one of the most beautiful places in the province, and I'm not gonna argue with that. So I'm in Salvage right now, and uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Please, anybody watching, if, uh, if you know better, if uh, I need to be corrected, let me know. Salvage on the basically on the tip of the Eastport Peninsula. It's one of the most beautiful towns in the province of Newfoundland. And that's saying a lot because you already know Newfoundland is Newfoundland. But this is one of those towns that like, I didn't really know much about. I'd, I've always heard of it. And I actually, I knew where it was on a map even when I was younger for some reason, but uh, I've never been here until last fall. It's, uh, it's the spring, you can't really tell it's spring, but um, trust me, it is spring here. And um, my first trip was about four or five months ago. And it was you know, just basically everything that I was expecting it to be totally like lived up the expectations. Really, really small town. There's not a whole lot here um, like in terms of restaurants or anything like that. But you come for the sort of natural beauty. You don't really worry too much about the restaurants in my opinion. Eastport Peninsula, I don't know if it's like a hidden gem. Like I talk about it in my Harbor Breton video or my Baver video to talk about let's see these are hidden gems. I don't think that the Eastport Peninsula is a hidden gem, but I also don't think people talk about it kind of like in the same um, category as like say Fogo Island or you know, Twilling Gate or these other places that are definitely considered tourism hotspots around Newfoundland but at the same time like most Newfoundlanders that I know I don't know about I can't speak for everybody but most Newfoundlanders that I know have some kind of summertime connection at the very least with some aspect of Eastport. In Eastport is like 
It's like a little getaway spot for Newfoundlanders. Um, at the be beginning of the Eastport Peninsula, you got the Splash and Putt Park, you got Terra Nova National Park, um, you, towns like Traytown and Glovertown, where you got like, as a kid, we would stay in Traytown and Glovertown and basically spend our summer um, getaway weekend at Splash and Putt. So we never actually came to Salvage. Maybe came in as far as Eastport, which is like just down the road, but never ever came here. This is one of those towns, I, I can't remember the publication, but recently was named one of the most beautiful, um, most beautiful towns in the country. Maybe more, one of the most beautiful towns in the world. I didn't realize it was like that. I didn't realize it was, had a reputation for that type of place, but as you can see from the footage I'm putting in here, no doubt about it, like there's nothing really like this, even in Newfoundland. Um, the history is deep and I've been obsessed with getting around to explore Newfoundland to kind of learn more about my history, I guess, over the past three years or so. But um, I know nothing really about the history of Newfoundland before Europeans came and I'm, I'm just sort of starting to to dive into that a little bit. And this is one of those places where there is evidence of a maritime archaic people that um, preceded, we know about the Beothic, of course, but the, there was history before even the Beothic here in Newfoundland. So this is a place where there is evidence of, of life three, four or 5,000 years ago. So really, really interesting place. Absolutely beautiful place. I'm here, it, like I said, it's spring, but there's, some ice or snow or something falling on me now, but this is Newfoundland. If you don't know, now you know. It's one of those places that it is a, a gem in Newfoundland, but it's almost like you're cheating when you come here because the road from the highway to get here is about maybe 20 minutes, whereas if you go to Bonavista, you gotta go for about an hour and a half, or, you know, Fogo Island, or, or you know, any, any of the places that you might be thinking about as a getaway in Newfoundland, you usually have to travel for an hour, two hours from the Trans-Canada Highway to get there. I'm heading to Harbor Breton later today. That's, you know, a, a two hour drive from the highway. But this is like, like I said, you're cheating to get here because you only have to drive 20 minutes off the highway and this is what you end up getting, right? Yeah, I always should qualify that when I'm talking about these places. I should mention first and foremost that my starting point would be Mount Pearl, right? So depending on where your starting point is, maybe even easier for you to get there. But for Tawny to go on a, a staycation somewhere in Newfoundland, this is one of those places where you drive on the highway and then you just splash and putt itself is on the highway. But any of these other places are just off and highly worth the short detour to get off the highway and visit. So enjoy the footage. And if you are thinking about just a quick getaway and you've never been there, I highly recommend the overall park, Terra Nova, the Eastport Peninsula, the towns of Traytown, Glovertown, Eastport, Happy Adventure, and of course, Salvage. And if it's a nice day while you're out, highly, highly, highly recommend it. Just go sit in a pool at Splash and Putt and cool off if you are lucky enough to be in the area on a hot day.